friends let me talk to you now on a very 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 important subject namely the kala chakra so explaining to you about the yugas the maha yuga the kalpa the charanas the man mantra the life span of different yugas the life span of brahma himself the general characteristics of the yugas etc etc so in general it is about the kala chakra and also making it very very clear about the sankalpa what we say in our, uh, our daily puja or in our daily rituals so in our sankalpa we say mechanically every day shuve shobane mahurte adya brahmana advati prahrat deshve tavara kalpe vai vasvata man mantare kalyuge pratam vade vartavashe vartakande jambur vipe dandakarandi kodavarya दक्षिणे तीरे शालीवा उद्धवतारे राम क्षेत्रे अस्मे व्यवहारी के चंद्रमा सप्रभाष्ठ संवत्सराण मध्ये श्रीमधु देन विषे शर्वरे नाम संवत्सरे उत्तरायणे वसंत ऋतु वैशाखमासे शुक्लपक्षे दशम्यां स्थिवासरयुक्तायां शुभ नक्षत्र शुभयोग शुभकर्णे एवं गण विशेषण विशिष्टायां शुभतिथ मम उपाता लाइक दैट सो मेनी थिंग्स विच वी कम अक्रॉस इन दिस संकल्प वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इन वॉट एवर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस नाउ सी इन हिंदुइजम दि युगा मीन्स एन एरा there are not a total number of four yugas they are the satya yuga satya yuga is also called as the krita yuga treta yuga dwapar yuga and the kali yuga so all these yugas four yugas put together it is called a maha yuga and it is also known as the chatur yuga or the yuga cycle so a maha yuga is a cyclical it repeats itself and the satya yuga the life span of satya yuga the duration of the satya yuga is 17 lakh 28000 years and it is also equal to 4800 divine divine years so one divine year it is equal to 360 human years or the solar human solar years so satya yuga is duration is 17 lakh 28000 Uh, years human years treta yuga it is 12.96 lakh years dwapara yuga it is 8 lakh 64000 years kali yuga it is 4 lakh 32000 years so all these yugas put together it is for 43 lakh 20000 years or it is nothing but 12000 divine years so let's now try to understand the yuga characteristics see there are a total number of four yugas as i said the satya yuga treta yuga dwapar yuga and the kali yuga each having one fourth less duration and dharma than the previous year so that is satya yuga it is the most and kali yuga it is the least so the descending yugas they see a gradual decline of dharma decline of wisdom decline of knowledge intellectual capability life span emotional and physical strength and within the yoga are also there are sandhis or a starting sandhya and the ending sandhya ansa so both lasting for 1/10th of the duration of uh, the yuga but that particular yuga and most of the characteristic changes they can occur in these sandhyas or the sandhya ansa especially if the change is from the kali yuga to satya yuga because these two are two extremes so coming to the satya yuga which is also called as the krita yuga it is called the age of truth or the golden age and this is the first and the best yuga it was the age of truth and the perfection and the span or the duration of this yuga as i said it is 17 lakh 28000 human years or 4800 divine years and this yuga it had no crimes and all humans were kind and friendly the krita yuga was so named because there was but one religion and all men were saintly therefore they were not required to perform many uh, religious uh, ceremonies humans were long lived powerfully built honest youthful and they were virtuous 
So the Vedas, there were only one, there were no four Vedas. And all mankind could attain moksha during this yuga. And there was no agriculture or mining as the earth yielded those riches on its own. And weather was pleasant, everyone was happy, there were no religious sects, there was no disease or fear of anything. Virtues were of supreme order and the human stature, say the height, it was around 33 feet 6 inches, 33 and a half feet. So that was the average human height and the average human lifespan during this Satya Yuga or the Krita Yuga, it was 1 lakh years. And coming to the Treta Yuga, the span of uh, uh, Treta Yuga, it was uh, 12 uh, lakh 96,000 years, 12.96 lakh years or 3,600 divine years. And this is the second Yuga in order. So in Treta Yuga, virtue diminishes slightly. At the beginning of the age, many emperors, they rise to dominance and they conquer the world. Wars become frequent and weather begins to change to the extremities. So people become slightly diminished compared to their uh, predecessors and the agriculture, labor and mining, it also become uh, existent. There was three quarter virtue means 75% virtue and 25% sin. So the normal human stature in Treta Yuga, it was 22 feet 4 inches and the average human lifespan it was 10,000 years. So Sri Rama who took birth in the Treta Yuga, he was 22 feet in height. And coming to the Dwapar Yuga, so the duration of the span of Dwapar Yuga it is 8,64,000 years and it is nothing but 2,400 divine years and this is the third yuga in order. In this age, people become uh, tainted in qualities and they are not as strong as their uh, ancestors. Diseases become rampant. Humans are discontented and they fight each other. Vedas are divided into four parts only during uh, this uh, Dwapar Yuga. So people still possess the characteristics of youth in the old age. So there was 50% virtue and 50% sin. And the normal human stature, it was 11 feet and 2 inches. So Krishna was 12 feet long who took birth in uh, the Dwapara Yuga. And the average human lifespan was 1000 years. So from 1 lakh it became 10,000 and now it has become 1000 years in the Dwapara Yuga. And coming to the Kali Yuga, the span of the Kali Yuga is only 4,32,000 years, that is 1,200 divine years and this is the final age. It is the age of darkness and ignorance. People stop following the dharma and they lack virtue. They become slaves to their passions and they are very weak compared to their ancestors in the previous yugas. Society falls into a disuse and people become the liars and the hypoc uh, hypocrites. Knowledge is lost and the scriptures are diminished and the humans eat forbidden and the dirty food. The environment is polluted, water and food become scarce, wealth is heavily diminished, families become non-existent, means the joint families become non-existent and there is 25% virtue and 75% sin. The normal human stature, the human height, in this Kali Yuga, it is only 5 feet and 3 inches or maybe maximum 5 feet 6 inches. That is the average human height or the stature. And the average human lifespan, it will be only 100 years. So from 1 lakh, it has come down to 100 years. And sin to 75% extent, to the extent of 75%. So coming to this current Yuga, that is Kali Yuga in which we are all uh, living today. The Krishna's departure, it marks the end of Dwapara Yuga and the start of Kali Yuga. So now we are in 2020 AD. So the current Kali Yuga, it began at midnight, 17th February, that is 17th or 18th February in 3202 BC. So that is 
only 5,122 years are over out of 4,32,000 years of the current Kali Yuga. And hence, another 4,26,878 years are left to complete this 28th Kali Yuga of the Vaivasvataman Mantara. So this Mahayuga's length, Mahayuga means all the four Yugas put together, it is 43,20,000 years. That is 12,000 divine years. So this has been used to calculate the lifespan of the universe and also the Brahma. See, half day of Brahma means the daylight. You forget about the night. So day means day and night, but only the day means half day. Half Brahma, it is called as one Kalpa. So one Kalpa means 1000 Mahayugas. So 1000 Mahayugas means 432 crore human years. So that is equal to half day of Brahma. And that is nothing but 10,000 Charanas. So 1000 Mahayugas are 432 crore human years. It is divided into 10,000 Charanas. So one Charana is nothing but 4,32,000 years, which is the span of one Kali Yuga. And one day of Brahma is therefore equal to two Kalpas. That is 2000 Mahayugas. So that is nothing but 864 crore human years and that is equal to 20,000 Charanas. So one day of Brahma, it is equal to two Kalpas and that is equal to 864 crore years. So that is the day, the duration of the day of Brahma, 864 crore years, human years. And therefore, age of Brahma is therefore, it is equal to one day, that is 864 crores into 360 into 100. So that comes to 311.04 trillion years. 311.04 trillion years. And one charana means, as I said, it is only 4,32,000 human years. One Mahayuga means 10 charanas. So one Mahayuga means all the four uh, yugas put together, that is nothing but 10 charanas. And one Manmantara means 71 Mahayugas. So 50 years of Brahma is therefore, it is called as one Parartha. We say Dviti Parartha. So one Parartha means 50% of the Brahma's life or first half. So the 50 years of Brahma, that is nothing but 155.520 trillion years. So that 50 years is already over. And two Parardhas means 100 years of Brahma. That is called as one Para. So one Para, that is nothing but one Mahakalpa. It is nothing but 311.040 trillion years. So let us come to the current date. See, currently, 50 years of Brahma have elapsed. The last Kalpa at the end of the 50th year, it is called as the Padma Kalpa. And we are currently in the first day of the 51st year of Brahma. So this Brahma's day or the Kalpa, it is named as Svetavaraha Kalpa. And within this day, again six Manmantaras have already elapsed. And this is the seventh Manmantara. Manmantara. So this is named as the Vaivasvata Manmantara or it is also called as the Sraddha Deva Manmantara. So within the Vaivasvata Manmantara again, 27 Mahayugas. So four Yugas put together is one Mahayuga. So 27 Mahayugas and one Krita Yuga, one Treta Yuga and one Dvapara Yuga of the 28th Mahayuga have elapsed. So we are in the 28th Mahayuga now. So this Kali Yuga, it is in the 28th Mahayuga. This Kali Yuga began in the year 3102 BC. So since 50 years of Brahma have already elapsed, this is the second Paratha as I said, and it is also called as the Vitiya Paratha. So calculating the elapsed time since current Brahma's creation, the total time elapsed since current Brahma, it is equal to 155.521 trillion years. That is 155 trillion 
521 billion 972 million 949,120 years as of 2020. And the total age of Brahma is 100. So this into 2, 155.5 to 1 trillion years into 2, which is nothing but 311.040 trillion years. So this is all about uh, the Kala Chakra. Thank you, friends.